Good morning, folks. Sun jumping around on the satellite images. It's actually a calibration roll they do every once in a while with the satellite. We'll see it in the other frames as well. There's been some solar flaring at the departing active region, but none that are producing tremendous eruptions, and it is turning out of view this morning. In general, the star is relatively quiet at the moment. Solar wind and geomagnetic conditions are quiet. There was also a small filament collapse on the south, but it was contained wholly within the corona. All quiet on the stellar front. First paper on the docket today hits the lag between peaks in ultraviolet light from the sun and peaks in the solar wind density and speed. One to six years with an average of about three. This is yet another reason why ignoring solar particle forcing and focusing only on solar irradiance is a major downfall of climate scientists when focusing on solar irradiance only. It's the solar wind and particle forcing that varies over the 11-year cycle and over longer periods, and that's where climate scientists go wrong in their ignorance. Similarly, an excellent study of magnetic polarity reversals in planets and stars reveals once again the heat flux associated. It's not like a fire that's on or off, but a subtle heat flux and transport that is present at the outskirts of the reversing object. Most relevant here is our going into a magnetic event at Earth right now. Not only is the weakening magnetic field allowing more energy from space to come in, but Earth is bleeding out more heat slowly over time, and it is also a contributing factor to modern climate change. Lastly today, another symptom of the ongoing shift is yet another airport runway adjustment. They take markers based on a compass, and we've seen this in many places across the world. Not going to stop either. Our excursion marches on as they had to do this once again, this time in Brazil. We greatly appreciate your support. Learn more about this ongoing event, why it's happening, and what we expect in the future with the resources listed below the video. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.